The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel, we are exploring the role of luck and risk in one's life and financial accomplishments. Welcome to yourbooksummary.com. Thinking about how one small decision can completely change someone's life is incredible. In Bill Gates' case, a math and science teacher decided to lobby the school's mother's club to use rummage sale proceeds to rent a computer for the high school. Gates was lucky enough to attend that school and have access to that computer, ultimately leading to the creation of Microsoft. Gates acknowledges that with that experience in high school, Microsoft existed. It's a reminder of the importance of seizing opportunities when they present themselves, no matter how small they may seem. I read about Kent Evans recently. He was a classmate and close friend of Bill Gates. Both worked in their high school's computer lab and were fascinated by technology. Unfortunately, Kent passed away in a climbing accident before they graduated. It's hard to believe such a tragedy could happen to someone so young and full of potential. The odds of it happening were truly one in a million. I can only imagine how different things might have been if Kent had lived to see his dreams come true alongside Bill at Microsoft. Economist Robert Schiller once shared that he would like to know more about the elusive role of luck in investing. While many acknowledge that luck plays a part in investment success, it can be difficult to pinpoint individual cases of good fortune without coming across as petty. Additionally, attributing one's success to luck instead of hard work can lead to feelings of hopelessness. It's interesting how luck and risk are intertwined in our thoughts. When others fail, we often attribute it to their poor choices, yet when we fail, we justify it as a bold risk. This phenomenon also appears in customer service, where customers are always right but, at the same time, only sometimes know what they want. When managing your finances, it's important to avoid assuming that all your financial results are solely based on your hard work and judgment. Instead of relying on magazine cover stories about billionaires for insight, try looking for patterns and trends in financial information to make informed decisions. All numbers of successful stock purchases can account for most of your income. This means that even if you make more wrong decisions than the right ones, you can still come out ahead. For instance, venture capitalists typically anticipate that out of 50 investments, 25 will be unsuccessful, while one or two will generate enough revenue to benefit the entire company. When it comes to investing, many people believe that big, established companies are a safer choice than startups. However, this is only sometimes true. Betting on large public companies can be as risky as investing in startups. JP Morgan Asset Management conducted a study on the returns of the Russell 3000 Index, which contains a variety of public companies, since 1980. The study revealed that 40% of its stocks lost 70% of their value and never recovered. The only thing that kept the diversified index afloat was the performance of 7% of the included companies. Therefore, it's important to remember that successful investments can come from unexpected places. I hope you found the information about the psychology of money by Morgan Housel. Check out our YouTube channel if you're hungry for more knowledge and want to explore other books. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.